this is part 36 and as I had told you in the last part having general introduction regarding general exceptions right from section 76 up to 106 of the Indian Bill Code. In this part we start discussing the right of private defense. Now in order to understand this right of private defense right in the beginning it should be very clear that as you start reading right from section 96 up to 106 of the Indian Bill Code you come across right of private defense of the body and right of private defense of the property. So for each individual you can't expect to have one police constable or police officer for the purpose of protecting his body and the property. So when your body is in danger, when there is danger to your body, somebody is going to attack you. There are two possibilities or uh, the remedies that is available to you is defend yourself, see that your body is intact and he doesn't do any wrong with respect to your body, same is the case as far as your property is concerned. Or, or you can run away from the particular place, nobody I mean prevents you from running away. You can by all means run, but every now and then there won't be, for example, you won't have per individual there cannot be a police officer for a period of 24 hours to take care of your body and the property. And hence it is your right. What is your right? You have got right to defend your body. You have got right to defend your property. Not only that, there is a clear cut distinction as far as Indian law and English law is concerned and with which we shall be dealing as we proceed further English law says if at all you want to defend body of anybody other than yourself it must be shown that you are interested in the person but Indian law says no you can defend your body and you can defend body of any other person you can defend your property and the property of any other person with which I mean which will be made very clear as far as the wording of the section and the interpretation of the section is concerned with which we shall be dealing. But in other words what I am right in the beginning what I am trying to tell you that in order to understand the right of private defense we will have to classify this right under two different heads. One right of private defense of the body and two right of private defense of the property. Now as I mean if you classify if you try to understand this right under different heads, it becomes very easy for you to understand. Instead of going reading section, as a reading section 96, 97, 98 accordingly, I mean first of all, whenever I mean you are thinking of a right of private defense, the first question you must ask yourself as to what is this right? And then when you ask this question what is this right, naturally, in order to un un you understand this, you can by all means refer to section 96. You can refer to section 97. You can refer to section 98. And by reading these sections, you can get answer to the question as what is this right? And by this right we mean as we shall be dealing in detail we will come to know. Section 96 very clearly says nothing is an offense which is done in the exercise of the right of private defense whatever is done as far as the right of private defense is concerned may be right of private defense of the body or may be right of private defense of the property it will not amount to an offense that is section 96 then we will I mean come to section 97 and section 98 so in other words in other words in order to know what is this right, this, these are the sections to which we are going to refer to and this is inclusive of what? This is inclusive of the right of private defense of the body and the property. Section 97, firstly and secondly, that is I mean first part of it deals with right of private defense of the body and second part of it deals with right of private defense of the property. But then once you want to know what is this right, by all means by reading these three sections namely 96, 97 and 98 it is possible for you to understand what is this right. And now what we will do now? In order that I mean there should not be any confusion 
there should be an absolute clarity. We will classify this right under two different heads. One, the right of private defense of the body, the right of private defense of the body, and the right of private defense of the property. Now, as we will start with now, this is, I mean, as I told you, these are the sections. As far as right of private defense of the body or the property, what is this right? We will understand by reading three sections, 96, 97, 98. Now, when we will start re uh, trying to understand the next time in head, namely, uh, when this right of private defense of the body commences, that is one thing. Secondly, how long this right of private defense of the body continues? And then, naturally, when this right of private defense of the body ends. So, commencement of the right of private defense of the body, continuance of the right of private defense of the body, and when the right of private defense of the body ends, for which you will read section 102 of the Indian Penal Code. This chapter makes it very clear when the right commences, how long the right continues, and when the right ends. With this now, the this right, this right should be very clear as per section 100 of the Indian Penal Code, it extends to the causing of death also. So if you are placed in such a situation that unless you kill somebody, it may not be possible for you to defend your body or the body of any, or you cannot exercise the right of private defense. Right of private defense of the body or the property extends to the causing of death for which we will refer to section 100 of the Indian Penal Code. And it has laid down six categories when the right extends to the causing of death. Now, at the time of discussing, I mean today, you do homework. When you read section 100 of the Indian Penal Code, you must be in a position to know many offenses. For example, it says such an assault has been reasonable cause of apprehension of death. Such an assault has been reasonable cause of apprehension of grievous hurt. Such an assault has been as an assault with the intention of committing rape. An assault with the intention of gratifying unnatural lust. An assault with the intention of kidnapping or abducting. An assault with the intention of wrongfully confining a person under such under a uh, person under circumstances which may reasonably cause him to apprehend that he will be unable to have to the public authorities for his release. These are with I mean we are going to work out details, no doubt about it. But I am trying just to tell you that I mean you must know what is rape. You must know what is unnatural lust. You must know what is kidnapping. You must know what is abduction. And then you must know what is meant by assault. And assault, such an assault as may reasonably cause apprehension that death will otherwise be the consequence of such assault. I mean, an assault with the intention of wrong, uh, an assault with the uh, such an assault as may reasonably cause apprehension that grievous hurt. You must know grievous hurt. In order to know grievous hurt, you must know hurt. That is exactly. And hence, I mean, uh, this was told by me at the time when we dealt with the chapter. But to know the right of private defense of the body, you must be in a position to know all offenses affecting the human body, right from section 299 up to section 377 of the Indian Penal Code. With this now, now this right, this right, if it doesn't fall under section, I mean right of private defense doesn't fall under section 100 of the Indian Penal Code, then your right extends to the causing of harm, no doubt about it. But what is it other than death? For that you have got reference to section 101. So in order to know when the right of private defense of the body extends to the causing of death, you have to read section 100. And when it extends to the causing of any harm other than death, you have to read section 101. With this we come to the last aspect as far as the right is concerned. And when we are talking about any right, Maybe your funda maybe fundamental rights as far as constitutional law is concerned, no right, no right in this world can be an absolute right. Every right, even a fundamental right, is subject to reasonable restrictions. Same is the case as far as the right of private defense of the body or the property is concerned. And then we will discuss, we will discuss section 99 of the Indian Penal Code which lays down restrictions or limitations with respect to this right. So, restrictions or limitations with respect to this right, 
as laid down by section 99 is common whether it is a right of private defense of the body or whether it is right of private defense of the property with which we shall be dealing as per section 99 of the indian penal code is concerned and then as at the time of discussing section 100 of the indian penal code generally what you do you repel the attack you attack the person you attack the attack repel the attack of the person who was an assailant but as far as section 106 is concerned which tells you this right extends to the running of risk of death of an innocent person in case of a deadly assault and the heading of the section says right of private defense against deadly assault when there is a risk of harm to innocent person is also included taken into consideration as far as section 106 is concerned so this is right of private defense of the body what is this right when the right commences how long the right continues when the right ends when the right extends to the causing of death and what are the restrictions or limitations with respect to this right with which we shall be dealing as far as the first part as far as this chapter to this topic is concerned namely right of private defense where we have classified it right of private defense of the body and now we proceed to right of private defense of the property now what is this right same case in order to understand what is this right we will deal with what section 96 section 97 and section 98 there is one aspect now when we talk about right of private defense of the property when the right commences how long the right continues and when the right ends for which we will refer to section 105 of the indian penal code so 105 of the indian penal code tells you when the right of private defense of the pro property commences how long it continues and when it ends and then the next i mean as i mean once you deal with this naturally uh, we try to understand when this right of private defense of the property extends to the causing of death and in order to understand when the right of private defense of the property extends to the causing of death we will refer to section 103 and at the time of reading section 103 we will understand this right extends to the causing of death in case of robbery in case of house breaking by night in case of mischief by fire committed on any building tent or vessel which building tent or vessel is used as a human dwelling or as a place for custody of property and lastly theft mischief or house trespass under such circumstances as may reasonably cause apprehension that death or grievous assert to that person will otherwise if such right of private defense is not exercised so again this is the time you can understand the right of private defense of the uh, property provided you have refreshed your memory right from section 378 up to section 462 and this is the chapter which deals with what offenses against the property and then i need not but then i mean you uh, when you, it extends uh, robbery what is robbery robbery is an aggravated form of either theft or extortion but it must immediately click you not that you must know all the offenses in detail but you must be in a position to know at least the ingredients of the section so it becomes very easy house breaking by night now what is this house breaking by night in order to understand house breaking by night you will have to refer to section 446 but in order to understand section 446 which defines the offense of house breaking by night you must know what is house breaking which is defined by section 445 and in order to know for what is house breaking you must know what is house trespass which is defined by section 442 and in order to know house trespass you must know the criminal trespass which is defined by section 441 of the indian penal code this said with the approach and then i mean and i mean i will try to i mean explain in the manner or best possible manner so that i mean it becomes very clear without any confusion no doubt about it but i mean this i mean this cannot be repeated by me every now and then otherwise that will be a thankless and endless job so this is the time where i mean i expect you to i mean those who are interested to understand the right of private defense of the property must refresh that is the reason we have already dealt right from section 378 up to 462 dealing with offenses against property
when the right extends to the causing of death in a case where a person had a right person had a right and what he has done he has he has i mean no right it doesn't extend to the causing of death but it extends to what it extends to causing of any harm other than death for which i mean you will have to read section 104 accordingly and once we read section 104 the last part that is i mean we have to take into consideration as to when we are dealing with the right of private defense are there restrictions or limitations as far as the right of private defense of the property is concerned and in order to understand the restrictions what we will do we will refer to section 1 so we will refer to section 99 which is a common section and hence now once we read section 99 that is applicable to both namely the right of private defense of the body as well as property and what is the role of section 99 section 99 lays down restrictions or limitations with respect to the right of right uh, right of private defense so now there is a classification of the section some section what is this right common 96 97 98 is yes, very correct restrictions or limitations with respect to this right section 99 which is a common section when the right of private defense of the body commences how long it continues when it ends section 102 meant for only right of private defense of the body when it extends to the causing of death as far as the right of private defense of the body is concerned section 100 of the indian penal code when it extends to the causing of any harm other than death section 102 and when we refer to right of private defense of the property again 96 97 and 98 as the common section 99 is also common section restrictions or limitations with respect to this right that is one thing and then when it extends when the right commences how long it continues and when it ends that we will have to refer to section 105 of the indian penal code when it extends to the causing of any harm other than death for which you will have to refer to section 104 of the indian penal code and then the section as i mean when it extends to the causing of death and when we come to the limitations also so 105 when it commences how long it continues when it ends 103 when it extends to the causing of death and 104 when it extends to the causing of any harm other than death and the restrictions as i told you restrictions or limitations section 99 is a common section and then with this now tomorrow then i mean next time when i mean as far as the next part is concerned we shall start with the right of private defense of the body as soon as we finish with the right of private defense of the property we will start dealing with the right of private defense first of all of the body then of the property and then as i have clubbed the sections i mean i may proceed from 76 onward or i may select any topic as per my choice i mean but this is what we intend to do as far as the next part is concerned we shall be complete try to comp- right try to understand as to what the right of private defense which is inclusive of right of private defense of the body and the right of private defense of the property